What's up guys? It's Erica and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to show you guys my home office tour. If you haven't caught my original entire home tour of 2013, make sure to click here and check it out so you can see like the before and after. This is what the office looked like when we first moved in and I think I've literally redecorated and reorganized and re-swizzled furniture like a thousand times in this room. I was never happy until now. So I'm really excited to show you guys the space. Now some of the stuff in the office is brand new but obviously some of the stuff is sold out. I'll include links to either the items or alternative options down below in the description bar so make sure to check that out. And then if you enjoy these home tours from me please give me a thumbs up to let me know so I could do more in the future. And last but not least if you're not a current subscriber please make sure to click this red button right here to subscribe and join the Miss Louie family. So on that note let's get started. Come on in. All right, so starting from the first wall to the right, you have a full length mirror. I got this at Ikea, and I just like to have this here to check out my outfit or you know check how big my ass is this week. On the floor here, I've got this really cool um, garbage can that I also got at Ikea just recently. I kind of think it has like a Jonathan Adler type of modern feel. And then to the left of the full length mirror is the closet. The closet isn't like the most ideal storage solution, but it is vastly better than what it used to be. Hanging over the first door is my over the door shoe organizer that I use for all my office supplies. If you haven't caught my organizational video, definitely check it out. I talk a lot about this guy. It's affordable, it's amazing, I love it. And then opening the other door, you can see the entire space here. Starting on the shelf, I've got these 10 clear organizers that I got at Costco for like $8 a year ago. I love them because they're like shoe box size and they fit a lot of miscellaneous like arts and crafts stuff. So I've got things like my hot glue gun, um, my hole punchers, my different ribbons, memo pads. Everything is organized separately. I can see it through the clear bin and they just work really well for me. Next to these guys, I've got these magazine holders. They're actually unfinished wood and then I painted the bottoms white for a more like Scandinavian minimalist look. I like to call this the box of hell. It's just random stuff that I don't know where to put. We'll just throw it in there so it's nice and tucked away. Below the shelf, I have a pair of campaign chests. I'm so obsessed with campaign chests and I got a crazy steal on these guys at the William Sonoma outlet store. So the campaign chest holds all of my other art supplies. For instance, this first drawer, I have all of my birthday, thank you, all of my greeting cards in here. The next one is where I hold all of my gift bags. I organize them by size and just lay them flat. And then the last one's all of like the tissue paper and ribbons and all that good stuff. So I consider this campaign chest the potted chest, where it has all of the things I need for gift wrapping and stuff like that. The second chest next to it is really just office themed. I got all of my other office supplies in here, just like envelopes, labels. The second drawer is all like paper goods, like stock paper and like unused memo pads and spiral notebooks. And then this last one is like index cards and my washi tape, which I'm still trying to find a storage solution for, but for now, it just sits as a mountain at the top of this drawer. On top of the chest, I got a few things. I got the same IKEA unfinished wood organizers here. I got this phone where you could plug it into your cell phone and answer phone calls just completely useless, hello. These two little guys hold all of the business cards that I collect. This guy is like a glass apothecary jar that I hold all of like my gift tags and Christmas stuff in there. And then this thing right here I got at Target. This is a Nate Berkus desktop organizer. Um, I actually use this whenever I throw events and stuff. I put like little cutlery or pieces of paper, pens and all that. It looks very uh, painful to sit on. Then next to the spiky thing, I've got just some Nate Berkus gold snacking boxes that holds miscellaneous stuff, and then some more of these big IKEA um, boxes to hold a bunch of other crap. And then lastly in this corner, I've got my filing cabinet, and then I got this West Elm butler tray that holds my labeler, some baby wipes, a shelf, my color sharpies, and my paper shredder. And then everything above what I showed you is going to be ignored. It is just a hellish mess. <laughs> so that does it for my storage solution let's move on over to my workspace so a quick spiel about my workspace Jeremy and I had such a hard time figuring out how to arrange our desk so that it didn't take up too much space in the room but also have good synergy and like feng shui I'm not gonna go down the feng shui road because I could be there all day long but pretty much you want to be facing the door and 
having like a solid wall behind your back. So we finally figured out this configuration and we've been really happy with it. We decided to put the desks facing each other together so it minimizes the ultimate um, footprint of the desks. And then it's also really nice to be able to face each other so we can have kind of like organic conversations as we're working and making, you know, working more pleasurable. So this is my side of the square working area. Um, I've got this really comfortable chair from Costco I got a few years ago. So here is where you'll find me when I'm not at work. Behind me, I've just got a simple $8 floor lamp from Target just for some nicer, soft mood lighting. Here on this side, I tacked up a cute little vintage mirror that I got in Anthropology for like $12. I just use it to just check for boogers, check for pimples, talk to myself. You are nothing! And then moving to my actual tabletop, the desk itself is from Ikea. I got this several years ago and it's just a simple like do it yourself, like pick your tabletop, pick your legs. On top of the desk, you'll find my iMac. This is our new baby, and it's what runs the Miss Louie channel right now. I've been so enjoying editing on it. And then down here, I've got my actual workspace, um, Quick Spiel. So originally, the Mac comes with this magic keyboard, and I'm so excited to use it because I just love the look that like most bloggers have, like just this simple little keyboard here. It's very minimalist and clean and not cluttered. But the reality is that I'm up here you're editing anywhere between like 6 to 12 hours a week, you know, working on the computer. So to be typing away for that many hours on this stick of gum is just not very comfortable. So I went with my favorite keyboard. This is the Logitech Wave keyboard and it comes with a wrist rest, but I have to have double reinforcement because I am a psychopath. So I have my glorious PC gaming wrist rest and together it just really supports and elevates my hands so that I'm able to type for really long periods of time without any discomfort. Um, I've got my favorite mouse. This is the Logitech 525 mouse. And then I have a separate wrist rest for the mouse. And they look like balls. Lots of fun. And then this little mat here is actually an extended gaming mouse pad. Um, I love those cute little mouse pads, but for editing, I need a lot of surface area to be able to move my mouse. And this mat was just totally perfect to give me all that surface area to work with. So definitely not the most pretty. It's definitely more cluttered than I ever wish it could be. But in terms of actual comfort and functionality, it's tops. Over here, I've got a couple of things. I've got my tissue box that's hidden under a little plastic white house, so it's very cute. And then over here, I've got these acrylic desktop accessories. And then I always like to fill it with cute little colorful pens to keep me like nice and happy. I got these at my friend's shop in town, Paper and Craft Pantry. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my area. Let's move on over to Jeremy's. So Jeremy's side is very plain and simple. We've got the PC for him to do his work on. And then I gave him my favorite mouse pad. This is so gorgeous. I'm so sad that it's sold out, but it's a cork mouse pad that's interlaced with like gold leaf. Very beautiful. I gave it to him because I got my big old gaming mouse pad to work with. And then up here in the wall above our desk, so I found this awesome 3D world map set. It has three different panels. I thought it was so beautiful. It was so cool. And I just think it's like a perfect piece of artwork for that minimalist Scandinavian design I was looking for. Who doesn't love the world? Getting down here on the ground, I've got the printer area that's behind Jeremy's desk. He's the one that uses the printer the most often, so I found this awesome printer cart from CB2.com. It's on wheels, so I can move it super easily, just like this, across the room. It fits the printer perfectly. It holds all of our excess paper and my paper cutter, so it was just like the most perfect solution. And it's clean and white and just kind of blends in with the rest of the room. On the other corner, you'll see the matching floral lamp to the one behind my chair. And then underneath my chair, I've got this thing. No, this is not a sex toy. <laughs> this is actually a footrest. A footrest is probably something that most people don't think about, but it's so comfortable. And the thing about it is that when you're working, you want your knees to be at like a perfect 90 degree angle. So if you have a chair that's too tall or too short, you can put a lot of stress on the back of your thighs and then also your knees themselves. So I love using this. I think it's a great thing to prop up my feet, especially when I'm working long hours. So I have this guy underneath to keep my feet comfortable. And then lastly, for the rug itself, I wanted to position all of like the work-related items on the rug, and it was so hard to find an area rug that was affordable. Every single area rug I found that was like 10 feet or over, it was just crazy expensive. So I was so happy when I found this one from Target. I got it during a rug sale for only like 150 bucks. It was such a steal, and the great thing is that it looks just like a West Elm, like $1,000 Moroccan shag 
red carpet. And last but not least, I can't wait to show you guys my favorite area of the office. This is what I like to call the Erica chill out zone. It was really important for me to carve out a space that I could actually break away from work and just have like a mental break. So this was what I came up with. Anything on the rug means work and anything off the rug is play. Work, play, work, play, work, Play. The first thing you'll find on this wall is a pretty picture of a watercolor like arrangement of feathers. This is actually like a real painting I believe that cost like several hundred dollars but I found that same painting on a piece of gift wrap at Anthropology and framed that. So I get the same feel but a fraction of the price. So I like to see Pinterest uh, beat that idea. And then for the actual area itself, the first thing is going to be obviously this gorgeous sate. I got this at target.com um, a few weeks ago. Um, I love it because it actually has a very nice high back with like dramatic tufting. It looks very feminine and like just very exquisite and upscale. It's actually meant to be like a banquette to a dining table, um, but you know, I can use it for whatever I want. On the bottom, I have these $13 Ikea faux fur sheepskins. Um, these are just great for padding for your butts and I just think it adds a nice like Nordic glam touch to the whole banquette. So I keep two of them side by side here for just um, extra luxury and comfort. And then for my accent pillow, I also got this at Ikea. Um, since the whole area is very like airy and girly, I thought that it'd be nice to have a graphic touch. So I got this guy and the pillow inside it for I think less than $20. So a really great decor piece. On the sides flanking my sate, I have these really gorgeous chrome and um, high gloss white C tables. Um, normally you use them like with a sofa so they could go over the armrest and you could put your coffee or whatever there, but I personally loved it because they're very narrow and they fit the space perfectly. On both of the tables, you'll find these really nice streamlined brass LED lights. And this is the best part about the lights. You actually just touch the top and they turn on and they have three power settings so you can have a different you know level of intensity that you want um i thought they looked very vintagey but they're also like very high tech so i thought that was very cool on this table i've got my favorite little miniature jonathan adler vase this is the boy girl vase it's meant for just like a singular flower or a bud um on one side you've got a cute little girl face and then on the other side you've got a little boy face so totally dual purpose so i feel like a boy i'll have this side and Jeremy will know not to F with me or if I'm feeling nice and sweet and girly I'll have it on this side and that means that I'm in a good mood today. On this side, I wanted it to match, but the vase is like too freaking expensive, so I was like, no way I'm buying two. Um, right now, I've just got this simple succulent in an Ikea um, minimalist vase like this. And then for the last piece of furniture, I really wanted like a coffee table to this um, little sofa, but it was really hard to find something that wasn't gonna overtake the space and actually be proportionate to the satay. So I found this amazing side table at target.com, and I just love it because it's espresso. So it kind of matches with the dark hardwood. This is such a high traffic area. I didn't want anything that was big and bulky and took up visual space and then like, you know, made us chip our shins every day. So the dark wood just kind of melts with the dark wood of the floor and it doesn't take up too much visual real estate. I think it looks super expensive. It's like modern Danish furniture, but it's the perfect height. Um, I use it almost as a footrest sometimes just to like kind of chillax here. On top of it, I've got this glass tray with these little lucite bars. It almost looks like an old Hollywood like perfume tray. Um, on it, I've got these really beautiful marble gold coasters that I got at Target too. And then of course, just a sweet smelling candle to um, um, give the space a nice warm ambiance. And moving on to my collage, I've been collecting these things over the past few years and it finally come together into this nice little space. Starting with this picture, I got it online somewhere, I'll link it down below, but I love how simplistic it is. I love the gold foil. I think in French it means no, I live with no regrets. So I just thought it was a really awesome saying. It's simplistic, it's cute, it's sexy. Moving down here, this little smitten heart. This is a card. I thought that the card was so pretty, it just stood as like a piece of art by itself. So I framed it in this gold like floating vintage vintage brass frame that I thought was really cool. This is a really cool um, art piece that I got at Dot & Bow. It's like a Dalmatian print and it's inlaid in like a wood frame. <laughs> Did you fart? I think he farted. Who farted? Who just farted? That was 
so weird. I think it was um, I think it was the uh, the throw pillow that parted. I thought it was like a nice burst of print that's organic and very minimalist at the same time. Um, up here, this is a faux bison head and it just adds a nice like 3d architectural touch that adds a lot of interest than just like a plain flat wall so i love this guy this guy's name bobo um for no reason and then over here is a very popular home decor item these are the wall starbursts definitely recommend these if you're looking to add some spiky objects to your walls and then up here you've got an actual um, photograph of the Prada in Marfa, Texas. It's a beautiful picture that I think is taken at sunrise. I wanted a dash of color somewhere and I just thought that the blues and the pinks were just perfect. And how crazy, the new Pantone colors for 2016 is rose quartz and serenity blue and I've got it right there. So. Then over here, I've got this gorgeous watercolor print of this beautiful woman, and I love watercolor, so I needed something watercolor on this wall, and that is what I selected. Um, and then I've got another starburst up there in the top left-hand corner. So with this gallery, I try to focus on adding a lot of different elements, having a real picture, having watercolor, having pattern, having a graphic print, you know, having a nice mixture of things with 3D architectural objects are gonna make a really successful gallery wall. So those are just my tips. Don't have to follow them, but um, I'm really happy with it. It's clean, it's cute, it's girly, and um, I hope one of the spiky things don't uh, impale me in the head one day. All right, guys, so that concludes my home office tour. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, I'll include all the items in my office down below in the description bar or alternatives if they're sold out. I want to thank you guys so much for following me around today. I'm really proud of this room. I have so many happy moments and hard work and productive moments in this room, so it was a joy for me to share it with you today. Please give me a thumbs up so that I know to make more of these videos for you guys in the future. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments area. Again, if you haven't caught my full house tour, um, make sure to click right here. I've got the original tour from when we first moved into the house. Other than that, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye!